Welcome back, heroes and YouTube family. This is Christian, back in another video just for all of you guys. We are out here again with the Toyota Supra GR Launch Edition. We have a few more upgrades and modifications that we're gonna be doing. Like I said, this Supra is gonna be all about nice budget mods that you guys can do for the car. So today, what we're gonna do is we have the wind buffering system. We're gonna put right here. We're also going to be blacking out the front and the rear markers on the car. And we also have a few more interior pieces that we're gonna go ahead and do for the Toyota Supra. Like I was saying, guys, we really wanna do a good job of making this look nice and clean, nice and professional in a vehicle that I can take to business meetings, I can race in it, but I can have fun in it. Anyway, if you guys like the video, the like button, follow the dream, subscribe button. Like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams, make them reality. Let's have a great video, guys. Let's get it, peace. Oh yeah, by the way, we're going to be going ahead and finishing up some more things in the garage uh, coming soon. We're also going to be changing out some of these windows in the garage as well. We have a few other modifications being done. I know you guys see the headphones. If you guys are a headphone business or corporation, I would love to sponsor your headphones. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, I uh, love to be able to work on my car. I love to have music. I love to hear how I'm sounding. And so I have all that going through the headphones. Uh, so that way I can go ahead and make sure everything sounds good for all of you guys. And really quick also, guys, I just want to say thank you so much to Ken Block. Uh, you're the reason why I created the Red Hoonigan name and the brand and wanting to start with that. You have helped so many people get into cars. Just your enthusiasm, just your driving skill, but overall your energy has definitely touched this community and has touched me. So rest in peace. Hopefully all of you have had a great uh, New Year's. Let's attack 2023 with a passion. Let's attack with everything that we have. Let's keep going after your dreams, guys. Let's keep making them our reality. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so the first mod is going to be the wind buffering system. Uh, pretty much with these cars, everybody knows, or if you don't know, there is a highway <laughs> wind noise that kind of goes through here. So this is gonna kind of pretty much help with that. I went ahead and put some really heavy duty uh, double-sided tape on here. So this is not gonna just go flying off. Um, but I went and got the gloss black version. I know a lot of people like to get the carbon, but like I said, I want to have a nice gloss black uh, just everywhere. And just like that, y'all, we already got uh, we already got some more modifications coming to the Supra. Thank you to all the sponsors for supporting the channel and supporting the Supra build. Uh, we have lots of things coming, guys. Lots of things coming. All right, so this is how it looks. Like I said, very, very simple install. Nice double-sided tape. Really, really simple. Uh, the fitment on this is really good. I got this one just off of eBay, I think. Uh, it was literally like 40 bucks. I know a bunch of companies have them for like 150, 200 dollars. There's some carbon fiber options, but I just wanted to go with the nice gloss black version. And like I said, I think this was like 40 dollars um, on eBay. Uh, looks really good. Looks really nice. Let's go ahead and check out the other side. So I wanted to have it, like I said, OEM plus. It's got that gloss black look on the other side a lot with the car. Um, but this car, I do want to have a very nice OEM plus type of look to it. Uh, and so that's how it looks. All right, so I did forget to mention that this is what the double-sided tape looks like when you first get this. Like I said, it's kind of just basic stuff, but I got the nice heavy-duty stuff. Uh, it's much thicker, much stronger, and holds much better, especially me being in cold environments and harsh environments. Uh, so I always recommend going ahead and getting something a little bit stronger, especially for your external pieces. So that's my recommendation. Go ahead and get something a little bit stronger, and that's what I use. All right guys, so here's the second piece. Like I said, got the heavy duty double-sided tape and we're gonna put this right here. Um, like I said, I wanna keep a nice OEM plus look. I wanna have the nice gloss black look uh, on the car. We have the uh, rear spats, we have the splitter coming, we got the door handle, we got the mirror cap. We have a whole bunch of stuff coming to really kind of just showcase more of this styling that I'm gonna be doing for the car. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Like I said, very, very simple. Uh, just goes right here, and I'll show you guys how it looks after. All right, y'all, so we got this on. Whew. Looks really, really good. Really, really easy install. And yeah, y'all, we got that done and on. All right, the next things I'm gonna be doing is going to be getting that blacked out right there, getting the rear markers blacked out and getting the front markers blacked out too. So we're gonna go ahead and black those out. Um, and it's gonna be a nice, nice and easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that blacked out and I'll show you guys exactly how it looks after. All right, y'all, so here's the right side. 
Got that black tint on the right. Here's the left side. Like I said, the left is pretty clean, but I do want to keep that nice and tint on the black. Nice and clean. Here's one more time. Y'all can see the left. And here's the right. Just a nice clean look. Uh, let's go ahead and finish it up and get it done. All right, here's it blacked out. Really, really clean. Got the black backed out. I'm actually gonna be going ahead and blacking out a bunch of other stuff on the rear bumper just to really showcase that nice black aggressive on the rear. Uh, I love how it looks, y'all. I absolutely love how it came out. Like I said, very, very simple to do. Very, very simple. Woo! Now that looks fantastic. So we went and blacked out the rear. We blacked out the front. Again, this is tint, so the markers will still show. But man, that looks really, really good. Just subtle things, guys. Subtle, subtle, subtle things make the biggest difference. Woo! Look at that. Now we're starting to get somewhere, y'all. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Black front, black rear, and then the fuser as well. Again, you can still see the red, but it's just dark. So now we're starting to get somewhere with this build. It's supposed to rain out here, so I'm about to go ahead and park back in the garage, but man, love how this is looking so far. Let's get back to the video. All right, y'all, in the last video, we installed a few things on the interior. We installed this right here. We installed the carbon right here. And we also installed the back seat carbon behind me. We're now gonna be installing the knobs for the climate control. This red matches this red. It's gonna match overall the red that's in the car. That's the red here and the GR and just match the overall interior. I do have the launch edition and I got lucky and got the red interior launch edition. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install that. We still have a piece coming for this as well. A few other pieces that are supposed to be coming in too. So we'll go ahead and install those. All right, you guys, we got the climate controls on. Like I said, nice and easy. Uh, the red perfectly matches the interior of the red here. As you can see, I mean, it looks fine without it, but I just think adding that red, let me put this in here, uh, really just makes everything just stand out a little bit better. Really adds presence on the interior of the car. Here's how it looks for the passenger side as well. Um, damn, look at that. Like, that looks so, so clean now. Uh, the red, black, and carbon definitely matches in the interior. And like I said, I'm going ahead and doing that gloss black and the white on the exterior. Anyway, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, follow, follow the dream, subscribe button. Like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality. Everyone have a great time, y'all. Hope you guys liked the video. Until the next one, guys, peace.